ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the third season of Fashion Citizen. It's me, Scarlet Visor, and as always, I'm joined by the one and only, my friend, Donnie Cosmo. All right, contestants, looking sharp. So, for those at home, the category is, of course, adventure. All right, so we got contestants one through seven, Donnie. Let's go ahead and walk through and see what's going on. <clears throat> okay. Hello? Oh, nobody home. I guess that's your room. Donnie, number one. <laughs> All right. right me, number one. 100%. All right, so the category for this time around is, of course, adventure. And we have contestant number two here. I believe this is the uh, lovely Dianeter. And uh, how do you think of uh, Dianeter's uh, setup here? Well, uh, I would say, uh, hmm, uh, right off the bat, I noticed the, a lot of the uh, moving parts that are, are very interesting and they are eye-catching. Uh, I do like also the... Uh, the classy look of putting on maybe even uh, a pair of glasses uh, to maybe just uh, tighten the whole thing up, give it some class. Looks like I'm ready to go out uh, on the mountainside, but also I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to learn something, which is nice. Donnie, I love your style, man. Yeah, he's got he's got a beanie. He's got those uh, glasses that were on special that one time. He's got an invest jet uh, jacket there in white. Uh, hmm. Now, I would say one thing, though, one thing a bit, Donnie, is that maybe... What do you think of these trousers? You think they match everything else? I would say that there isn't... Uh, color uniformity is not this, uh, this contestant's strong suit. What do you think? No, uh, matching... A, uh, having a matching uh, trousers with the, uh, the top would probably be uh, a little bit more on the elegant side, but uh, I think he's going for a bit of an adventurous casual. And it works for me, uh, the... Uh, the the white does uh, match a, in well, on a relative close shade for it to be uh, comfortable on the eye, but the uh, uh, the unfortunate part is the waist color and the uh, trouser color uh, clash a bit. All right, contestant uh, number two. Uh, Good job. All right, I think, hmm, I may have seen contestant number one sneak in here. Contestant number one, you ready? Ooh, well, 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 never mind. We'll get to them later, I'm sure. Next up, Donnie, is contestant number three. Look at that. All right. So contestant number three here in this very interesting setup. As you can see, Donnie, they've got themselves that Pab helmet in gray. They've got that Mac Flex in a matching color. They got an Odyssey in red. They've got themselves a Mac Flex arms. And it looks like they've got themselves... Hmm. What are these? Of course, uh, these are none other, Donnie, than the... Oh, man. The Virgil legs. You can only get these from Hurston, Donnie. What do you think of this anyway, outfit? Okay. Well, I think it's really great. I do think that he's pandering towards the uh, Hurston audience, but uh, besides that, could you give me a little spin, Contestant 3? That's right, Contestant 3. Turn around. You can see those EVA ports there. You can see, again, the uh, the Virgil True Death leggings. They got straps on those uh, shin guards. That's how you can tell them apart from everything else, Donnie. Not much... Uh, uh, going by the way of straps uh, in this century, but it's a good look. So, uh, Donnie, the category is adventure. What do you think? It is. Uh, it does look very adventurous. Uh, I'm, I'm liking the uh, the matching of the EVA ports as well as the silver on the uh, the chest piece. But uh, I also noticed the undersuit goes very well with the lit up LEDs on the arm. So that's that all ties together very nicely. It does look like this person's ready to go out on, a, on an adventure, but now I'm interested to see what ships are flying as well. That is true. That is true, and, and... It leads me to wonder, so I like it. I, I, you know, I love this suit, Donnie. I do. And, uh, yeah, like, uh, we did have a category that was, uh, ship and pilot. And I would love to see a ship go with this, maybe some other time. I would say that my one and only gripe with this, in terms of color uniformity, Donnie, would be these, uh... These lights on the gloves here, you see, they don't really match the lights anywhere else on the shoulders or the EVA ports. I know it's red, Donnie, but I don't know. It's one thing I personally would have changed. All right. Thanks, contestant number three. Now, number four. Hello, number four. Look at this. All right. We, we have our, uh, yeah, our second non-spacesuit uh, outfit of the day. 
Looking like an adventurous miner, Donnie. What do you think? All right, looking like an adventurous miner. I like how the gloves match the uh, the the, uh, the little arm uh, band or the arm uh, the the Moby glass there. Um, I'm liking it a lot. Uh, what do you think? What are your initial thoughts? Uh, you've heard my initial thoughts. What are yours immediately? Right Donnie, now? I like this a lot. There's a lot of color uniformity going on through here. We got a teal helmet. The undershirt works a lot, and we also got the uh, the, the shoes too. Um, this is a good look in general, and I do love the dedication that this contestant has with this pose over here as well. I think yeah. it's a bold look. It's a it, it's but it's a good look. I think uh, this right here, this this could be a protagonist of like a one of those vidcoms or something. You know, like yeah, I uh, think so as well. If you were um, if you were to if you were to take them out, like let's say this person is going on an adventure, which moon or where do you think that this adventure would be? Well, I mean, Donnie, somewhere they can breathe. Otherwise, it'd be yeah. maybe like a, one of those shorts, you know, one of those comedies. Like, I'm going to go on adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. All right. Yeah, I think, you know what? It may be the, um, uh, the, 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 the temperate terrain of, uh, of um, 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 microtech, I feel, could, be very good, could work really nice there. Microtech? Yeah, 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 I'm sh I, I can see that. I can see that. But uh, you got to be careful not to be a popsicle. But yeah, I can see that. Thank you very much, contestant number four. Let's move on to number five. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Very interesting look here, contestant number five in uh, Orc Mark V, I believe. Is that a coincidence there, contestant? Uh, Orc Mark V helmet with the, uh, the, the Lynx chest piece. Where's that microid? I think it's Lynx. We got ourselves the uh, stone stone skin undersuit. We got ourselves, uh, ooh, look. It's the same MacFlex arms as uh, we had the other contestant wearing before. In fact, no, this is MacFlex. That there is Virgil. Man, I am not having a good day, uh, Mr. Mr. Donnie. But, uh, and it looks like leg-wise, uh, none other than Hurston Dynamics' very own Virgil True Def Legs. Donnie, what do you think about this uh, black and olive look? Black and olive. Very, uh, very earthy tones. I, I do like it. I think it goes very well. It, this one, to me, I'm going to be honest, this one, uh, this one screams adventure to me. It does, does it? Yeah. I mean, I could see this yeah. person raiding the desert, you know, like uh, perhaps uh, in somewhere like Daymar, riding a dragonfly, that kind of look. What do you think? Yeah, I think. What was that, Donnie? It's hard to pick one place that this adventure would be, uh, which is nice. I think the versatility of where it could be or where they could go is really up to the adventurer. I like it. Yeah, me too, Donnie. All right, number five, that's enough with you. Good job, we'll keep moving. All right, contestant number six, dressed in uh, what looks like uh, almost UEE -E Starman kind of livery right here with the blue and gold, yeah. Donnie. They brought props too. I like that. They did indeed. They better not be loaded, otherwise, <laughs> security. <laughs> anyway, so they've got the Magflex chest piece. They have um, the Magflex arms as well. That's two pieces of the same set, well, Donnie. Right. Two pieces. Any more? And <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so let's see. We also got ourselves the uh, hmm, Donnie. What shoes yeah. are they wearing? Oh, uh, they are wearing the... Uh, the exact same kind of shoes, Donnie! The true Def it. shoes! Yeah, that's The true right Def shoes from Hurston! That's it, true Def. Yeah. All right. The color uniformity is good. I do like it. Maybe it's a different kind of blue, but it does almost kind of match their knife. They are accessorizing quite heavily here, Donnie. They've got themselves a blue uh, pistol, a blue knife, blue boots. They really are trying, and the yellow reflectors on the boots also and match the yellow yeah. uh, grips on the gloves. This is this is a good look, That's Donnie. Exactly where I was gonna I was gonna point that out. The uh, the shoes and the gloves go really well together. Uh, the uh, the arm uh, the arm uh, device goes very well with the flares. Don't think we didn't see those. Very well done there. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had uh, yep, and then it's also looking at the uh, the guns as well. Great, great, great work. Yeah, and uh, kudos to you as well, contestant number six, for, you know, like, not getting a blue weapon as well. That would have been a bit too much, you know? Like, uh, I, I do like it, you know? Too much. Yeah. Very well done, contestant number six. All right. Our second to last contestant. 
Okay. What do you think, Donnie? All right, my initial my initial thought is a baby threw up. All right, and who and, and who's gonna clean it? That's right. That's I mean, my, like uh, a a baby Banu or something, something that can throw up a lot. Like yeah, yeah. a lot. Exactly. That's what I'm. That's mine. Right, uh, right from the the bat. Uh, but I do like how they kind of go together. Once I get rid of the once I once I swallow a bit of what came up, I I do think that uh, after a while, uh, uh, it it grows on me a bit, kind of like a. Um, Kind of like a uh, uh, like baby Bobnu vomit. It grows too. Right. It also it's yeah it it it, it, it grows on me if you will. Uh, yeah. I think it's I think it's great. It matches well. It matches a lot of things, but it's it's, it's shocking for a moment. Uh, I'd say more than a moment. Uh, I have to apologize to our viewers at home. However, you know, don't let us uh, you know, like uh, don't let us dishearten you just yet. I mean, like uh, the day is the, the night is still young. Contestant number seven. The night's still young. <laughs> All right. So they got themselves the Odyssey helmet in orange. They got themselves the um, microid chest piece. They got some Clark Defense Systems arms. Don't think I don't see those. They're underspoken but small and light. They got themselves the uh, the Venture uh, undersuit too. Kind of plasticky, but it works. And look at those boots. Look at those boots, Donnie. It's, uh, I, I, it was was the prompt. Uh, adventure or was it most definitely? Well, I'm, I know who we should have probably spoken to about sponsoring us, Donnie, because this is kind of, kind of different actually, Donnie. I don't think I've ever seen this yeah. much of the same set item being used before in a fashion citizen. Uh, what, what was that? I have not ever in my three seasons of this, Donnie, seen the same amount of this type of boot being used. Contestant number seven, if looking like vomit with chunks of brown around your neck was what you were going for, then congratulations, you are the winner. But sadly, this is Fashion Citizen, so we'll come back to you later. But uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in a bit. Contestant number one. All right. Take it away, Donnie. Number one. All right, contestant number one, I do like what you're going for. I do like the classy look here. I also enjoy the prop that you brought. Uh, it is, uh, it, it shows a bit of class as well as elegance. Like, uh, number two, you decided to wear spectacles, uh, that go well with your, uh, undersuit. Uh, the railing on the gun, or the railing on the, uh, the arm, or whatever you want to call that, of your spectacles goes well with the lin- the, uh, linear fashion of the, uh, of your, uh, your SMG. Uh, go ahead and give me a spin. I like it. I like, it's, it's like street adventure. Yeah, it's street like adventure, street Donnie. Planet for us to have an adventure, and I like that. Yeah, but you know what? If you look closely, look at look at uh, this uh, contestant number one's Moby glass right here. It's the same color as his shirt. That is dedication right there. Ooh, okay, that is dedication. Yeah. Wow. Detail. Oh. It looks oh, like God. we have a special last minute entry, Donnie. Oh, okay. What do you think? And this is contestant eight. Contestant oh, number eight, the mystery eight. She's got herself the uh, these mystery fashion glasses. Uh, she has. Can we get you to stand over by seven, please? Yes, please. Uh, She's gonna throw me off. Yeah, go stand by seven, number eight. Initial thoughts so far? Ah, initial thoughts so far. I mean, it's... It reminds me of the last time I got to went to the dentist, honestly. I mean, ugh, like uh, pearly whites and blood everywhere, but... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I would say one thing, and that's the purple and the glasses. They don't really work for me. They don't really match anything else. Also, the ADP legs she's wearing, too, they do not have a place with the rest of this gear there. It's it's thick, Donnie. It's thick, but it gives her the shape of maybe, like, I don't know, like, my grandma's big foot. Like, uh, her big foot? Okay. Her big toe. Her big toe. Okay. Yeah. So what you're, what you're saying, she had, no, your grandma has, and now we know that your grandma has one big foot. Um, so... What do you say about my grandma? That's what you just said about your grandma. Donnie. Anyway, so, okay. wh what do you uh, think? Back to this. So, well, um, I wasn't 
I wasn't too cold on it all, except you, the glasses were, were a bit jarring, until you mentioned the uh, dentist, and now I can't stop thinking about that. Also, mm -hmm. uh, you, yeah, I am... Death uh, to dentist. It does, it yeah, it looks like, uh, it, it does look like the, um, a bit like the spit funnel at the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. With what? glasses. Yep. With glasses. Dentist glasses. All right. Well, thank you very much. The shoes match uh, very well. I like that. That's right. This contestant here is, uh, I believe, hmm, with the boots. This is a, a venture in white and, and gold. It's not bad. It's not a bad undersuit at all. And uh, the boots are my favorite with it. With the ADP thick legs with that, uh, with that, hmm, with that venture chest piece, venture voyager. I would say that, uh, hmm, well, the gold and the white matches the venture voyager, but the chest piece itself doesn't really seem to do anything the belt donnie this is our first belt but at the same time i'm not i'm not in love with it donnie i'm gonna be honest i do like the silhouette of it all you do go, go give it a, yeah give it a walk around and take a look i like the silhouette of the piece but i think the colors are just not hitting it for me you a toe man donnie i'm not a, i'm not a toe man i don't think i don't I'm, I'm i'm your grandma's left foot man all right donnie all right well we apologize to the folks at home for uh, for that information, but uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, I'm not in love with it, Donnie, but uh, we'll see how far I can get in the contest. So, okay. contestants, thank you so much. Please remain standing. It's now time for our first round of eliminations. Mr. Cosmo, since yes. this is your first season of Fashion Citizen, I'm gonna have to make you do the honors, Donnie. Okay. So, if you uh, could... Are we going to discuss it, or are you just going to... Donnie! Are you just going to... Uh... Okay, yep. Yeah. Which one of these fine folks do you think doesn't deserve to be here? All right, looking at them all, uh, I think uh, my... Uh... Boy, I think my vote is gonna have to go with uh, number seven. Number seven is uh, just not doing it for me. I number was seven. When I when I yeah when I got on the uh, I was hungry when I got on this ship, uh, and now uh, after this uh, I'm not. I think I would have lost my lunch if I had any. So. Well, Donnie, give me one second to confer with uh, with our producers. All right. All right, Donnie. I'm being told that since this is your first time eliminating Donnie, you, Donnie. Oh, I don't want to do it. You need to pick up that gun, Donnie, on the table. Donnie, are you nervous? Ah, no, I, I, I can, I can do it. Um, just need this real quick. All right, Donnie. You know, why don't you show me how it's done? No, Donnie, this is you. Pick up the gun, Donnie. Okay, this way, Donnie. Contestant number seven. Donnie, this way. Hasta la vista! Donnie, you're stone cold, Donnie. I thought that was what we were doing. Donnie, you're stone cold. I uh, did not expect you to, to do that. 
Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? Is that it? I was reading the room. Welcome to Fashion Citizen, Donnie. <laughs> you passed. All right, let's get back to it right. then. That's our first elimination. You know what, Donnie? I'm with you on this one here. I personally was not much of a fan of one of these people here. Can you guess, Donnie? Um, if I was to guess yours, uh, why don't you show me? Don't tell me, and I'll, uh, I'll let you know at the end. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. All right. Hmm. Donnie, at times like this, yep. my vision goes very, very cloudy. Very blurry. But! My, my, my apologies, baby. Hmm. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, that's another one done, Donnie. How many do we have left? We have one, two, six more. six more. All right, Donnie. Let's whittle it down. The five. Okay. Well, Donnie, you know, I don't think that... I'm not really much of a fan, to be fair, of, uh... All of those boots. I mean, every single one of them is wearing those boots, Donnie. Okay, so you're thinking you want to get all of the boots? Every one of the boots? Donnie! Come on, Donnie, no! Okay, all right. No, I like it. It's, uh, it's, I think, I'll, honestly, though, I mean, adventure does... Uh, okay, yeah, just show. All right, who's it? All right, Donnie. I think it's time to put down... You know what? Miss Red! Step over here, please, Miss Red! Step over here, please! Red, I'm gonna give you a number between one and six. I want you to shoot the one I call. Red. Are you ready, Red? All right. Red, are you good at math? You better be. You gotta be better than a counting horse, Red. All right. Four! Minus two! Yo, that's some weapon grade bullshit right there. Well, I was going to ask if you had any last words, but those were them. Red, you shot his torso clean off, Red. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time to continue the elimination process. All right. All right, Donnie. Are you ready, Donnie? How are you feeling, Donnie? You know, I'm feeling good. I was feeling a bit anxious uh, a bit earlier, but now that we've got that out of the way, we started the elimination process, uh, I feel like I'm in my element. Yeah, Donnie. Me too. Yeah. Me too. All right. So, where were we? 
I think we can boil it down maybe to, uh... How about the audience? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, audience, I need to know. Between contestant one, three, four, five, and wait, one, two, three, four, one. Donnie! Yeah. I hate math, Donnie. It's, gonna be the, it's okay. It's going to be either one, three, four, five, or six. That's right. No A two. total of five contestants. I'm being told by my producers that's too many for a poll, Donnie. You what? There's too many for a poll, so I need you, Donnie, to shoot somebody in the head. Donnie. Who deserves your bullet? Wait, Donnie! Wait, 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 wait. The producers just told me that five is good. Okay. Donnie, those are expensive. Oh, oopsie. Cut, 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 cut. All right, it's time for us to take out the trash. But before we do that, we're gonna take it to our audience and ask them, which one of these five do they think? Deserves the Cyclone MT. That's right. What are all monsters in here all the time? So our producers are just about to ask everybody which one of these five deserves the Cyclone MT. All right, listeners and watchers and smellers in a Smellivision DTV five. Which one of these five contestants do you think deserves the Cyclone MT? The special limited edition Cyclone released by Tumbral Land Systems to celebrate Stella Fortuna! Donnie, do you yeah. like fish? I love fish. What kind? Tuna! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen your entries, and by a fraction, by a hair, we have a winner for the Cyclone MT, Donnie. Can you guess who it is? Uh, I, uh, uh four. Donnie, contestant number four? Hmm. You know what? I don't know, I was guessing. I know, I asked you to guess. But... It was, in fact, contestant number six. Contestant number six, congratulations on your Cyclone MT! Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. The killing. Donnie, 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 Don. It's that time again. Which one of these five do you think couldn't put on a shoe to save their life? Literally. Okay. Which one of these? Is this one for me? This one is just for you, Donnie boy. Okay. Try not to sweat, contestants. You don't want to uh, let your colors run now. <laughs> ah! Oh! 
I was not expecting that, Donnie. But! I do approve it. I do, I do, I do approve it. You see, Donnie, I'm Thank not much you. of a fan of the UEE myself either, so a star man here participating like it was nothing? <laughs> yeah. What a twist. What a exactly. twist! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the penultimate elimination round of Fashion Citizen! I'm Scarlet, and this is my friend Donnie. Donnie Cosmo. How's it going? How are you, everyone out there? So, when we left on our last break, we asked you in the audience, which one of these fashion faux pas were gonna go down the drain? And they decided. I'll spare you the suspense. It was him! Dress better in the afterlife. All right. <sighs> what was that, Donnie? That one tickled me. Good work. Ah, <laughs> thanks, man. All right, so now we're down to three contestants. Contestants, please line up in front in the foyer area. Over here, contestants. Just, just. Drag your sorry asses over here, please, contestants. And then face Mr. Donnie when you do. In the middle there, uh, more central, please. All right, Mr. Donnie, welcome to the final round. Ever gotten Thank skeet you. shooting before, Donnie? I have not. Well, it's when uh, you you, uh, you shoot a guy called Skeet and he bleeds, and and then you get red to clean it up. But uh, this is similar. But I don't know their names. They had numbers, but now they're mixed up. Donnie, on my count. I want you to shoot who you think should be shot. I have an idea. You do? I, I don't mean I don't mean to shoot quick 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 quick. I got the tape. Cut the tapes. I got an idea. Got an idea? Okay. What's the idea? Cut 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 cut. Cut! All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Donnie, I'm gonna count down. And when I say charge, that's when you press and hold. Okay, Donnie? All right. Three, two, one, hold! Hmm. Well. Congratulations in the center, you win! And we have a winner. We do, can, can, welcome, I mean, welcome, J Jesus, uh, Scarlet. Welcome to the winner's circle. Welcome to the winner's circle, indeed. Okay. Now, I want all contestants who were eliminated to please come back uh, to the studio. Because one of our sponsors is Cure Life. Cure Life, of course. Cure all your lives and all that crap. So please report to the studio. Contestants, I've forgotten your numbers, but quite frankly, I didn't care in the first place. So from left to right, 
You are now numbers one through five. Oh yeah, where's Vomit Comet? I, I, I don't, uh... What's the word? I, I, <laughs> Maybe we were too harsh on Vomit Comet. Maybe the, uh, the med team also thought the same, but, uh... <laughs> uh anyway. Yeah. So... Out of these five... I'm thinking we give them another Cyclone MT. Cool. Like a runner-up? Yes, uh, from, uh, yes. This, this one would be, uh, gifted by, uh, the, uh, the Carbon Tails Conglomerate. I think, uh, Donnie, would you want to put this to a vote? Like, uh, with the audience, or would you like to choose it yourself? Um, okay. So out of these contestants. Yes. Very well. Let me see. Uh, I'll put, I'll do an audience poll. How about that? All right, that sounds great, Donnie. Okay, so contestants, this is going to be a uh, let's do something special, Donnie. A wild card round. So all you contestants, pick any new costume. You can go inside the dressing rooms and get changed. Pick a new costume and come out, and then our viewers will then decide which one of you gets the MT, and which one of you gets massacred. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Did you miss us? It's me, Scarlet. And me. And Donnie Cosmo. Hell yeah. So we're back again, this time around for a special wildfire round. We've asked our contestants, who are now hearty and hale and healthy. And, uh, hole free. Because we don't give away holes here, we give away ships. To dress up in what they think is their favorite outfit. And then step up, and get their souls ripped up. People at home. You have to choose between one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's from left to right. Who your favorite outfit is. You have three to five minutes, depending on where you are in the Stanton system, because of course there is that latency issue. <laughs> uh, pesky light speed, am I right, Donnie? Red. Red. So one of these people here have really bad fashion. Red, shoot one. No ceremony, aim and shoot. And if you shoot me red, you your family. Well, that was fast. Okay. All right, where, where were we? Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and the poll has started. Between one and five, Hey, if you're alive, can you please go bleed to death somewhere else? That'll do. That'll do. Under the table, please. I'm kind of partial to four, but you know, one doesn't look too bad either. You want to go a bit closer? They won't bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we remove their teeth. Yeah, look at this undersuit, like, uh, close up, Donnie. With the white and the eyes! This contestant went the distance and genetically modified their irises just so that they could win their family and MT back at home. Wow, I'm also, uh, I'm, I'm also par uh, partial to the lavender eyes. Exactly. I also, have, uh, also got mine done recently as well, so that's pretty great. Okay. I get my eyes changed every Saturday, Donnie. Every Saturday. All right. Number two looks okay. Number three. Number three is all right. Number four. Number two and three, four could be like siblings almost. I do like that. All right. Anyway, Donnie, uh, are we getting word from the producers? Okay. How soon until we get the vote we in? Are, we are getting word from the producers. Uh, it looks like. Oh wow. Okay, that helps. Okay, that helps things a bit. Oh, never mind. Uh, looks like maybe about a minute. 
About one minute to go. Maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You just let me know when we're back. Three, two, one, and oh. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome back to Fashion Citizens After Hours. Before the break, you, the viewers, got to choose who you thought should win the Cyclone MT. So who is it gonna be? Mr. Donnie, right. take it away. The polls are in. The Cyclone MT from left to right is going to go to number five. Number five! Congratulations, number five. You Congratulations, number win five. yourself a Cyclone MT. Okay, hold on. And some shots. All right, number five. Okay, congratulations, number five. Now security, clean up the rest of the space trash. All right, ladies and gentlemen at home, thank you all so much for watching season three of Fashion Citizen. I've been Scarlet Visor, and with me, my friend, Donnie Cosmo. Any hey. last words, Donnie? Hey. Any last and, words, uh, Donnie? If you are, yeah, if anyone's uh, hiring out there, uh, Donnie Cosmo uh, with an IE uh, on the posters, it's, uh, it was uh, a Y. Uh, so that's been wrong. Don't, uh, if, you, if, you want a, uh, if you want someone to sing it at your uh, weddings or a funeral, I'm your man. Uh, and uh, yeah, this was great. Thank you so much. All right. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Fashion Citizen. Now? Uh, yeah, we're off the air now, Donnie. Okay, great. What the shit? Run! Okay.